I think he's going to drop a bit further back. Banneker just one point uh, three four seconds outside, but he's gone straight. He's gone over the top, and he was trying so hard. Banneker has completely lost it, and he's going back. To, where's his bike? He doesn't know where he is at the moment, and they can't find his bike. But something's broken. It looks like his shoes come yeah, he's off. Lost his shoe, he's lost his shoes, David. He's lost the uh, the chance of winning. And down there, when the news gets to Rob Warner, the old Union Jack will go. But it's a sad sight to see it go in this way now, as his bike has been caught in the uh, netting there. That's a, a great disappointment for Benegal. It just shows you how much they had to try towards it. Watch it again. A disappointing Jürgen Benneke who crashed out on the way down. The crowd appreciating his valiant efforts to try and win the downhill UCI mountain bike World Cup event here at Capron. It came to nothing as he crashed out there. So that means that Rob, Winner, Rob Warner is going to be the winner. And that will be, a, I think, a tremendous uh, bit of uh, encouragement to the Giant team and to Rob Warner in particular. Uh, not being disrespectful to the riders that came down in the wet conditions late. I think Rob would set a very good time there, 7.15.32. Let's not forget that, that in qualifying, Jürgen Benneke came down in 7.15.94. So Warner was faster than the qualifying time of ben Benneke yesterday. So we can't say it was the weather condition did it rob pulled one really out of the bag he's been threatening to do this for a long time actually in fact one of the british riders either him or steve pete and he has done it today what a fabulous fillet for the british downhill riders they've been wanting a downhill win for so so long but, and how to get one here too at Capron is this great, I mean, he's been probably one of the most, uh, uh, what well, has been the most used of the downhill courses at this sort of level. And to actually win at uh, Capron and have your name go down on the list of, of winners over this particular course is just something else. But a great shame it was then for uh, Bernica. But now Rob Warner's on his way down. The giant rider just showing you how it should be done. Well done, Rob Warner of Great Britain, winner at Capron. The gentle giant himself, Rob Warner, Ryan, of course, for giant now. Let's hear from the, the finish area. The motion of Rob Warner's run is really a beautiful thing, and congratulations to you, Rob, your first World Cup victory ever. Yeah, first, for sure. What are the thoughts going through your mind right now? I can't take it in, to be honest. I, I guess I know I was lucky with the weather and stuff, but, you know, I still won it, and I can't believe it. I'm, I'm lost for words, to be honest. What was going through your mind as you sat down here and watched every person in the field come down? You must have been sweating bullets. I was relaxed until the end because I, I knew I'd done everything I could possibly do, so I was, I was happy with what I'd done, you know, but coming towards the end there, yeah, I had to sit down for a minute. I was getting a bit dizzy, you know. <laughs> OK, what does this mean for the rest of the season? Does it put you online for a, a medal at the World Championships in Australia? I don't know. I mean, I can only do my best. That's what I did here. And I was in the right frame of mind. I let it hang out. I did everything I could possibly do. So who knows what's going to come, you know. All right. Well, you beat the best today, Rob. Congratulations. Thanks very much. It means a lot. A very happy Rob Warner down here in the finishing area. So we're watching him in action then, a replay of Rob, who looks like that 60 points will have hoisted him up into the top half dozen, somewhere up alongside Steve Pete, I think, who's got 124 points going into today, but Rob will have 142 points in all, so we've got Brits moving up into top half dozen, and a great ride, you're looking on your screen now, Rob Warner, winner at Capron, and this really was out of the top draw, and you can see how much he devastated that early time, running in across the line to take the, uh, the lead, 7.15.32, and that was faster than the qualifying ride of Benneke as well. So now he's the centre of attraction, the centre of attention. The media are going to want to talk to this gentle giant. He with the long flowing locks. At any moment now, I'm sure he's going to look for something to drink and quench that thirst. I should think so, David. He'll be very, very happy. Look at that confirmation of the result. Warner first, 7.15.32. Vullier second, over three and a half seconds behind with his compatriot, Alexandra Balut third. 
Jimmy T Deaton, what a ride for him in full spot. With Marcus Klausman, round two, winner in fifth. Mike King, the 93 world champion, sixth place. Frank Roman in seventh. He'd be quite happy with that. And look at Sean Palmer in ninth as well. Sean Palmer, yeah. yeah. So he must have had a problem in qualifying. He qualified, qualified 70th fastest. So Palmer moving up the list as well on the general classification. There we are. And we've got Missa, Vulios, and uh, King, Klausman, and Palmer at the moment. There it is. Your maths were correct, actually, I think. Well, I said, I said it was one point. Dude. One point, it, so it's two. It's 65 Not bad to look at that, too, as well. Two British riders in the top ten in the World Cup. Steve Peaton, sixth. Rob Warner in seventh. As we look at Jürgen Benneke come down. Buckled front wheel, he'll be very unhappy. Championships in Caprun, Austria. <laughs>